So what is text gen? So text gen is basically used to uh, display any attribute, a description or any attribute name in a different languages based on the user logged on language. Let's say suppose we have product names as a dimension. So when we display the product name, it would be uh, you know, very easy for a for the business logging in from let's say Germany, if they have those descriptions in German, it will be very convenient for them to read quickly and to analyze the data quickly instead of showing them in English. So in the same way, if a business is logging in from China, then it would be better if, if we can show them an entire report descriptions or whatever the attributes we have, if we can show them the description in their own language, would be more convenient than showing in a more generic language. So that's where text join comes into picture. So using text join, we can implement language specific descriptions based on the user login language. Now, where can we use this text join? We can use in pretty much three different modeling objects we have. So those are attribute view, analytic view and calculation view. So when it comes to analytic view, we can only use text join inside a data foundation section, but we cannot use a text join in star join section. So now let's go ahead and see how to implement the text join in SAP HAN. So for this, what we are going to do is we'll create two different tables with some sample data. So one is going to be our product info. So let's create the table. You can see table is done and let's insert these four records. In the same way, in another table, we are going to have for the products, we'll have what is the description of that product. So let's, let's create the table first and then we'll implement or we'll insert sample data. So now data is inserted. As a first step, let's look at what we have in the table. So first, let's look at our product info table. So we have four different products here. Our product category, we can say. One is furniture, electronics. And then we have again furniture as well as electronics. Now in the same way, what we are going to do is, you know, let's look at the data what we have in our product description table. So let's look at data we have in product description. So here for the same product, we can see multiple records and we can also see the language code. So here the language code represents the type of language in which we have the description. So here for 611, which is our product code. We have a language in English, which says dining table. And we have similar description in Germany, which represents their local language. In the same way, for 624 as well, we have different description here. Now, when we implement a text join, let's say suppose if a person, a business person from Germany, logins to the system, and if they execute the report, Instead of showing description in English, we have to show the description in Germany. Now let's see how to implement that. So let's go ahead and create attribute view by right clicking on our attribute view folder, select new, say 80 products text, and then the subtype is going to be standard. Click on finish. So in the data foundation, we are going to add our two tables. So let's search for the table, which is our product info from trainer schema. In the same way, we need another table, which is product description. Now, once we have these two tables, our join, join column is going to be product code. 
and then join type should be text join here. So when we select join type, the next thing we have to select is what is the language column, which means which column holds the language codes. So in this scenario, language codes are in language column. So in the language column section here, we have to select the respective column name. Now we need to select what information we need for our output, which is going to be product code, product category, and then description. Now in semantics section, let's define our key attribute and then activate object. Now you can see it's completed successfully. Now if we execute the data preview or if we see the data preview, we can see the description only in English. We don't see the records that have description with German language. So that, that's the advantage with text join. Now let's see, let's change our user lo login language. So how can we change that? We just by right click on our system, select properties. And then in the additional properties, we can see what is the user login language. Here, what we are going to do is, let's select Germany here. Then apply. Click on OK. Now, let's refresh our data preview here. Let's close that. And then open the data preview again. Now we can see, for the first two records, we have description in Germany. Whereas for the rest, whereas for the second records, the last two records, we don't have description in Germany. That's why we have got blank or null values there. If we would had a description in Germany for the next two uh, product codes as well in our text table, then we would have got those uh, German description there. So this is how we can implement text join in SAP HANA. And one thing we have to remember here is when we enter our text information, always the language codes should be in single, single characters like what we have here. So for English E, like for German, Germany it's a D. In the same way, the language codes should be of single characters. So this is how we can implement text join in SAP HANA. And thank you for watching.